Hello everyone. This is the sustainability game. It's a game in which we practice the search for a spatial domain within a period of time and with adequate effort. One player represents the blue territory and the other the red one. The game is played in two stages. In each of them, one of the players will have the initiative of the actions. The board has an inter external track, follow it only clockwise to control the time in each stage. The board has also an internal track followed both clockwise and counterclockwise to indicate the evolution of the spatial domain at each stage. He has indicators of the value of the domain in each territory. In each stage of the game, the two players make their moves sequentially, rolling a four-sided dice and use part of the value obtained to have advanced time control and another part to move around in the search for spatial domain. When the player uses most of the value obtained to move in relation to the part used to advance time, he is penalized for excess energy spent. Each player has a limit of two penalties to be used per stage. When a player rolls one on the dice, he only moves the time and there is no change in the space. He saves energy and can reduce the penalty level achieved in a moment of stage. A player wins a stage when the time limit is over and he is representative of the territory where the territor territorial domain mark stops. The value of the partial result is the constant of the position reached 1, 2 or 3. Let's see how a single stage of the match works. The blue player will have the initiative of actions in this stage of the match. He places the yellow square ship at the beginning of the time control track. There is a start position for the blue and another for the red player. He shows in any of the territories a position to start the movements and place the yellow round ship there. He also identify this start position with his blue mark. Each player receives two black round ships to record and limit overuse of energy. The blue player rolls the dice, gets a four and uses two to advance time 
and two for space movement, seeking better territorial dominance. The red player rolls the dice, gets a three, uses one to advance time and two for movement, seeking better territorial dominance. He is penalized for excessive use of energy for movement on time. 2 minus 1 equals 1. The blue player rolls the dice, gets a 3 and uses 1 for the space movement and two to advance time. The red player rolls the dice, gets a one. He can only use this value to advance time. He saves energy because he does not move and recovers a coat of excessive energy use. The blue player rolls the dice, gets a 2 and uses 1 for movement and 1 to advance time. The red player rolls the dice, gets a 4, uses 3 for movement and 1 to advance time. He is penalized in two. Three minus one. The blue player rolls the dice, gets a four, and uses two for movement and two to advance time. The red player rolls the dice, gets a four, he cannot use excess of energy as he has reached the limit of 2. So he uses 2 to advance time and 2 for movement. The blue player rolls the dice, gets a 4, uses 1 for movement and 3 to advance time. Mm, not good. The red player rolls the dice, gets a one that uses one to move the time, save energy and recovers a quote of excessive energy used. The blue player rolls the dice, gets a 1, uses 1 to advance time, save energy, there is nothing to recover. The red player rolls the dice, gets a 4, uses 2 for movement and 2 to advance time. The blue player rolls the dice, gets a 2, uses 1 for movement and 1 to advance time, completing the time limit. To end a stage, the timer must stop exactly at the position it started, making a total of 20 time units. The player who represents the red territory wins in this stage because the mark of territorial domain is stopped by, by his side. Therefore, he receives a blue partial victory chip. 
he also receives a green chip corresponding to the value of the obtained special position 1 the red player also receives a small black chip that indicates the situation of extra energy use at the end of the stage. The blue player receives nothing as he did not win the stage and was not at the end of the stage in debt with the excessive use of energy. The players keep the obtained chips, empty the board, remaining only the blue player initial mark to be compared at the end of the match with the opponents, if necessary, to break a tie. At the end of the second stage, all the ships are computed to identify the final winner as well as to identify the quality level of the match by consulting the performance evaluation table. Thanks for your attention. Bye-bye.